the Navy, DOT and even the Army are also experimenting with integrating the railgun hypervelocity projectile with existing weapons platforms such as the Navy's 5-inch guns or Army howitzer. Also, the Navy is evaluating whether to mount its new electromagnetic railgun weapon from the high-tech DDG-1000 destroyer by the mid-2020s, service officials said. The DDG-1000's integrated power system provides a large amount of onboard electricity sufficient to accommodate the weapon, Navy developers have explained. Seemingly futuristic weapon system is no longer a thing of mystery, speculation or sci-fi movies but rather something nearing operational use in combat. The weapon brings such force, power and range that is the kind of thing which could hold enemies at risk from greater distances and attack targets with a fire and kinetic energy force equivalent to a multi-ton vehicle moving at 160 miles per hour, developers have said. The Office of Naval Research is now bringing the electromagnetic rail gun out of the laboratory and into field demonstrations at the Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Division's new rail gun rep rate test site at terminal range. Fires, repetition rate of fires, of multi-shot salvos already have been successfully conducted at low muzzle energy. The next test sequence calls for safely increasing launch energy, firing rates and salvo size, a statement from ONR says. Rogan rep rate testing will be at 20 megajoules by the end of the summer and at 32 megajoules by next year. To put this in perspective, 1 megajoule is the equivalent of a 1-ton vehicle moving at 160 miles per hour, ONR information states. Rogans and other directed energy weapons are the future of maritime superiority, DR. Thomas Butner, head of ONR's Naval Air Warfare and Weapons Department, said in a statement. The U. S. Navy must be the first to feel this leap ahead technology and maintain the advantage over our adversaries. Quotation mark. The weapon works when electrical power charges up a pulse forming network. That pulse forming network is made up of capacitors able to release very large amounts of energy in a very short period of time. The weapon releases a current on the order of 3 to 5 million amps. That's 1,200 volts released in a 10 millisecond time frame, experts have said. That is enough to accelerate a mass of approximately 45 pounds from 0 to 5,000 miles per hour in one one hundredth of a second, Navy officials said. Due to its ability to reach speeds of up to 5,600 miles per hour, the hypervelocity projectile is engineered as a kinetic energy warhead, meaning no explosives are necessary. The hypervelocity projectile can travel at speeds up to 2,000 meters per second, a speed which is about three times that of most existing weapons. The rate of fire is 10 rounds per minute, developers explained. The DDG-1000's integrated power system provides a large amount of onboard electricity sufficient to accommodate the weapon, Navy developers have explained. Navy leaders believe the DDG-1000 is the right ship to house the rail gun but that additional study was necessary to examine the risks. Also, with a displacement of 15,482 tons, the DDG-1000 is 65% larger than existing 9,500-ton Aegis cruisers and destroyers. The DDG-1000 integrated power system, which includes its electric propulsion, helps generate more than 70 megawatts of onboard electrical power, something seen as key to the future when it comes to the possibility of firing a railgun.